Good morning, everyone.
and the other side. circles. And shoe circles. And reverse. <clears throat> and paint circles. And reverse. <clears throat> and reverse.
and reverse. Okay, you can put away your sticks. Head turn. And center, and right ear up. And relax, and left ear up. and right ear again. And relax, and left ear again. And relax, back to center. Cross the hands on the chest. Raise the chin. And relax, drop the chin to the chest, tuck it in and raise the back of the neck.
and relax. Cross the hands on the chest again. Raise the chin. And relax, drop the chin to the chest, tuck it in, and raise the back of the neck. And relax back to center. Swivel the head in a ping circle. And good. Head rolls. And down to center and reverse. And down to center and back up. Forward spinal wave. and reverse.
and Okay, we're going to do uh, some quote-unquote hip rolls. We're going to do two different kinds. What, the first one we're going to do is kind of like uh, doing a hula hoop around your waist, right? So the, the hips and the hip joints and the uh, tailbone are, are all moving in a ping circle, flat, just, just like if we were doing the grindstone, right? And reverse. And good. Okay, the second kind we're going to do, instead of the, the circles being flat like this, we're going to be more like bicycling, right? So you're kind of bicycling here. So the hips are moving like this. And you still, <clears throat> you're going to get a little side to side, but most of it's front to back. And reverse. <coughs> and good. So we're going to add that second new, new one in every day. Uh, that exercise is really good for your tailbone and for the SI joints on either side. But you should do it very gently. You know? Don't reef on yourself too hard. You know? Okay, let's do a third one. The third one is side to side. And you can do this with, with your hands doing this or without your hands doing it. I'll let, hold on. Let me put my uh, let me put my Don Chan on. Right. So it's side to side now. Now, when you do this one, try and do it in a real circle and uh, like a like a tire rolling. Not a flat tire. So a flat tire comes around and then it just goes straight across and it comes around and it goes straight across. But you, you, miss, you miss that bottom circuit there. Right? Try to go down and around. Down and around. Good. And re 
reverse. And good. So when you when you do front to back circles, you're always engaging the microcosmic orbit. So the energy, for instance, might if you're doing a forward lee circle. The energy comes up the back, over the top of the head, down the front, under the crotch, and then up the back again. I'm counting my right hand. If my left hand is going, then it's up the back, over the head, down the front, under the crotch. Or you could do them both together. Right. So when we start with the stick work, that's exactly what we're doing. Right? We're holding the stick and doing this up the back, over the top of the head, down the front, under the crotch, up the back. That's the microcosmic orbit. But the microcosm, and, and in that case, the microcosmic orbit is going all the way from the root chakra to the crown chakra. But it doesn't have to. It can go smaller. All right? So, for instance, uh, there are lots of exercises that are not the whole microcosmic orbit, but a, the lower half of the microcosmic orbit. So it's going from the pelvic diaphragm to the thoracic diaphragm. Right. So we might go, for instance, instead of going like this, now we're just going like this. And that's actually what I've been calling belly rolls. But what you should be practicing is this modified microcosmic orbit. Up the back, through the body, about the level of the diaphragm, down the front, under the crotch, up the back, out, down, under, up. So you've got your mind on that circuit going. So don't let your mind drift away into other things, like what you need to be doing in a little while. Your chi follows your mind. It is your mind. When you do these exercises, you have to keep your mind on this. And can you feel this flow inside? It's very simple. It's nothing esoteric. It's like a flow of water. That's what you want to pay attention to and keep your mind on that. And reverse. The front, through the body, down the back, under the crotch. Okay, and good.
the wrists, all right? Watch this guy. That's the whole body. It's not this. This is, this is isolating the wrist away from the body. It should be integrating the movement of the wrist with the body. All the way from the bottom of the foot. And the other side. Double. Now you notice when we do double, the Dan Chen doesn't move. Why not? Genevieve, why not? Because the two halves of your Dan Chen are moving opposite directions and they cancel each other out. Exactly. Energetically, they're still moving. But physically, those two, uh, Forces cancel each other out, so you don't see anything. All right? If we're just doing the right, it looks like this. If we're just doing the left, it looks like this. If we do them both, you don't see anything. Okay. Stretches. And the other side. And reverse. And the other side. And relax your wrists. And good. And the angles. And rotate. And reverse. And the other side. And reverse. Close and open, close and open, close and open, close and open.
doling. And touch the earth. And close your pores. Salute our masters and salute your classmates. Thank you, everyone. If you're going to stay for advanced Qigong, give me 10 minutes. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.